ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here. Back with another reaction. Slam dunk. One more time. I might not do four episodes today. I don't know yet. But if it's because, you know, we're kind of slowing down, getting to the end. Um, and as much as I want to get to the end of this, this anime, um, I still have other reactions that I'm doing in the background. Um, and right now, due to the fact that we're heading to nationals, and I don't think they're going to show any more games. It's going to be Shoku, you know, you know what I'm saying? Shoku versus Ryonan. Very, very long, I don't want to say arc of a story, but like the match took up. <laughs> it was a lot of episodes for that match. Um, I didn't mind it. What I'm trying to say is that I might not do four episodes for this reaction cut. But if it's because I'm I believe we're going to get some slice of life stuff um, coming up. So there's no rush. I'm not rushing to the end um, because I am prepared to do some more stuff for the channel when it comes on to reactions and I'm trying to take the steps in making time to do those. Um, so, therefore, you guys just gonna have to wait until we get to the end. If so be it, I might still end up doing four episodes today. I don't know, depending on how the episodes are going. If I do two episodes, right? If I do two episodes and it's just Slice of Life episodes, I will not do more than two. So that's basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. So I just want you guys to know that I am looking forward to whatever happens next. A lot of people are saying you should do the, man the manga after. Guys, I need to get back to um, Berserk and Ippo at this point. Trying to get to manga. Mangas are, you know, the read throughs. As much as I love doing them. It takes a lot of time for me to do them and I have to cut out time. So I am trying to get back into the swing of things, to be honest. And I know I keep saying that I am trying to get back into the swing of things because things keep coming up in my life that I that is very unexpected. And as you get older, these things are going to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? I've been dealing with my health situation and all this other stuff. Uh, and don't worry, it's not anything. You, you know what I'm saying? Like terrible <laughs> you know is that anything terrible like you know what i mean um so it, I, i'm just trying to get things on schedule between the doctor's visits and everything that i have to do i have to get everything situated and i can have a set schedule where i can do my reactions where i can take care of that stuff also exercise all of this other stuff that i'm doing so yes we're getting there <laughs> okay Anyways, guys, we're going to jump into these reactions, and I definitely will see you guys after the review. I am going to try something different with this reaction that I'm putting up. I'm going to try to see if I can actually cut up this these two episodes and put them on YouTube. I'm going to try to do it in the way that I've been doing with my other reactions that I've been doing in the background to try to get stuff on, to cut up and try to get stuff on YouTube, because now that I have the new PC, it takes me no time to re-edit anything that is blocked, that I put up and it's blocked on YouTube. It really doesn't take me any amount of time. Before it used to take a lot of time to do it because the computer that I had was not really very speedy. It was okay. It wasn't a terrible computer, but it just wasn't built to do this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Streaming, um, editing videos and all this other stuff. Cause you know, if you don't have a lot of computing power, editing can be a nightmare. You get what I'm saying? So I made a concerted effort. I never changed it in the past because I, I never thought that, you know, I never thought that YouTube was going to be this for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought I could just record videos and just put it up. I never knew that I would get to the point where I say, you know what? I want to stream. I never knew that I was going to get to the point where I, I, I'm saying, you know what? I need better um editing software and all this other stuff like i just i just went into it because i you know what i'm saying I, I say hey i'm watching all these reaction channels i'm pretty sure that and there's a bunch of anime there's a bunch of tv shows that are popular that i never watched and i was like hey let me start a channel and see what the result would be took a chance on it and here we are six thousand subscribers later i'm happy about it so 
as I said, we're going to try something different today. I'm still going to have my review of the two or four episodes, whatever, at the end of the video, but we're going to try to chop it up and get these reactions on YouTube and see what happens. Um, if it's so that um, other, you know what I'm saying? I never had any issues with any um, of the other ones that I did, but we're going to see what happens see what happens today because i've been uploading some stuff on the channel in the background that is um private videos right now so i'm trying to get to the point where you know what i'm saying if we ha I, I, i'm testing it out because i'm consistently uploading slam dunk every weekend so i say let me try to do this on this so because already i have a certain viewership we're deep into the into the anime i'm saying let's try it and see how it goes anyways guys Thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to like the video comment when it's done whatever during whatever let's do it i'll see you guys at the end for the review let's go react <laughs> really? <laughs> The fan club.
Okay. New girl in town. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> he getting beat up over Rukawa, bro. From below. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did I make his voice sound so weird in English, bro? <sighs> okay, so question. Question for you guys. Does... um. Do they teach English like as a English class? Like I like I remember in high school, you know, we learned. You know, there was Spanish. Um, it only became an option after you after you like in grade ten, but to seven through nine, um, seven through nine grade, you had to take Spanish. Like it was mandatory, right, in school for 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 me, right, um. Okay, so what I want to know is if any of you guys, because I know there's people, I know that we got some Japanese fans here. Let me know if you guys, if like it's a regular thing, like in high school for, you know, for you to learn English. Like, I want to know. You know what I'm saying? Like how they portray it here, if that's a, it's actually a thing. <laughs> exactly what I expected Rukawa to do. Walk away. What does it matter? <laughs>
people watching them practice? Are you serious? The people just watching them practice. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna botch it. Of, of course. <laughs> ah. <laughs> It's awesome, man. That's awesome. That the okay. Let's shut this off for a second. So, <laughs> so what I liked about um, that episode, and the thing about it is that media is, you know, what I'm saying they're annoying. <laughs> they're, let's just say they're 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 annoying. I can imagine what players go through. Just on a daily basis, and the thing about it is, part of their contract, especially in um in in, in any sports, in any 
sports is part of their contract. Not, I'm not talking about like in high school or whatever, but in the league, in the NBA, it's part of their contract to interact with the media. So they can't just say, oh, I don't want to deal with the media, whatever, whatever. It's part of their contract. If they don't talk to the media, they can be fined um, for it. So they have to do it. It's a part of their contract. So, um, but it doesn't take away from the fact that the media is annoying. They're, they're annoying. Like, just me watching them sometimes, as much as I love to watch players get interviewed and I, I watch that stuff, like, after the game, before the game, whatever the situation is, um, I'll watch those interviews to, you know, hear the questions, hear the answers, whatever the situation is. But I can imagine being one, you know what I'm saying, being one of those players and having to deal with that. Like, sometimes, I can imagine sometimes you don't want to talk. You get what I'm saying? Like before a game when you want to focus and stuff like that, somebody shoving a mic in your face. Like you don't want that. You get what I'm saying? But as I said, it's part of their contract. They have to do it and they have to be, they can't be like bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they can't, they can't be bad. They have to do what they got to do. So in, in retrospect, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they just have to <laughs> deal with it, <laughs> you know? But, you know, it, it just goes to show you, like, even in, in, in high school, this girl, you know, trying to chase the, the biggest story in the school right now. And they're just being annoying. And at that level, I would have straight up told her, you know what I'm saying? Get the hell off the court. Just just like Akagi say, I get, you're interrupting her practice. Get. You know what I'm saying? And she's so pushy. And that's the thing, too, where, where I think that, um, you know, uh, um, th you know, Sakuragi has no problem to talk to them. Rukawa doesn't care. He's too cool for school. So he he, he doesn't care. The rest of the doesn't say, you know what I'm saying? It's no big deal. But, you know what I mean? Like to give them a feature or whatever and talk to them. I, I don't mind. But anyways, let's jump to the next episode. Okay, let's go.
I agree. I can't disagree with him because at the end of the day, listen, I'm not here saying like what sh she's speaking facts. He's speaking facts too. The fact of the matter is, um, the reason why I think I've said it on a couple of videos or maybe one video, um, I talked about the difference between um, the reason why I don't believe that Russell Westbrook is going to win a championship. And it's nothing against him. Incredible player. Incredible player. But I don't think he's going to win a championship. If he does, you know what I'm saying? It would be very surprising to me. Not to say that I'm not going to be happy for him. Or I don't recognize the type, the, the you know, the great player that he is because he's a great basketball player. But to me, you're going to have those people who are good enough to win championships and those who aren't good enough to win championships. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, if the, if it, like, like, give you guys an example. If the, if the Nets win the championship this year, if they win the championship this year, I will give... Um, everybody on that team credit for doing what they do. Not to mind you that they already have two great players on their team, two great championships. I'm not giving James Harden any flowers, and that's not to take away from his skill as a basketball player. I'm not giving him no flowers until I see him win a championship. I'm not. And that's, what, that's just what I'm saying. Um, James Harden is, is, is another player that I never believed would would win a championship, but now that he's with two championships on you know champ, champions on on the uh, on the the Nets roster, you know, and people who have seen, um, even though I don't think I don't believe that the Nets are going to win this year, I said if they win, I'll give him his flowers. You know what I'm saying? But they are players that I'm not saying Sendo is not good enough to win and go. It's just that sometimes you're just born in the wrong era. You get what I'm saying? It's just wrong place, wrong time. When another, you just happen to be playing in an era where some of the best are still doing it. When you're talking about Westbrook was here during um, when, you know, LeBron is winning championship. Kevin Durant is winning championships. Um, and these are players he's played with. You get what I'm saying? Not, I'm not talking about LeBron, but Kevin Durant. He's played with. He's played with Durant, right? He's played with Harden. These are players that Westbrook has played with, and they just couldn't get could get to it. People could argue and say, "Well, he was hurt," blah blah blah. But at the same time, how many years? How many chances? Did Westbrook have to win championships, and he just didn't? Sh and he just didn't show up. Harden is another one that doesn't show up in the playoffs. They don't perform in the playoffs. Their playoff stats are trash. They don't perform in the playoffs, and then they they make it seem like all oh, these players. But when the chips are all on the table, not you know what I'm saying. There's so many variables when it comes on to 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 somebody like Sendo. You know what I'm saying. He just happens to to meet 
up on Shoku this year. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to say he really is on a team. It's just him. Uzumi is okay. He's an okay center. He's not as good as Akagi. He's an okay center. I don't even think he's in the top five centers in, in, in their region. I don't even think so. But that's what I'm saying. Sendo has the skills. But as the, the, the paper, um, the chief editor is saying, um, the fact of the matter is he lost. So we're not going to get to see him at the national level. So who cares? It's, it's the truth. It's the harsh truth, but it's the truth. Yeah, he might be the greatest player ever. This is what we're talking about. Like, um, if you talk about it from the high school level, right? I know I'm talking a lot, but if you talk, if you, if you look at it from the high school level, right? If you look at it from the high school level, when it comes on to this thing here, um, or in real life or here in America, if you look at it from the high school level, of course, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to win. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to win at the high school level. You don't have to win at the college level to actually show off your skills to get to the NBA. Because great players are going to get to the NBA. That's why you get picked. Because everybody thinks you're great. Everybody regards you as a great player or a great player coming out of college at the college level, I should say. Right? Right? You have players like Kobe, like LeBron. Straight out of high school, Dwight Howard, straight out of high school, that showed their greatness in high school. They get straight to the NBA, right? So you have those those exceptional people that would come straight out of high school and get to the NBA right out of high school, right? So um, when it comes on to, you can look at it from that perspective and say, but when you get to the NBA, you got to show up. Yes, there are plenty of people who hasn't won championships that got to the Hall of Fame also. You get what I'm saying? Give you prime examples. Charles Barkley. You know what I'm saying? Hall of Fame player. Lots of players. Allen Iverson. Great player. Never won a championship. Right? They're up in the, etch the upper echelon of players. Individual skills. They never won a championship. You get what I'm saying? Never won a championship. Right? And Hall of Fame doesn't dictate if you're going to win a championship or not. Or if, if we're ever going to know. But we know what you can do on the big stage. Hallen Iverson got to the finals. Lost. He just happens to meet up on a better team. We're talking about a better team. Totally better team. The Lakers? Kobe and Shaq? でも好きにしてください。私の考えは変わりませんから。やよいくん。君も頑固だな。それだけが取り柄ですから。もし僕が読者だとしたら、すごいプレイヤーはすごい。I'm <笑> This thing is as loud as my mic, actually. Daregan,なんと言おうと、すごいものはすごいのよ。それに、千堂君を取り上げることは、インターハイとは無関係じゃないわ。つまり、彼と互角に渡り合った小北のスーパールーキールカー君が全国でどれぐらいの活躍ができ
話といいのは他でもない俺たち三年はと言っても俺と池上だけだが本日をもってバスケット部を引退する When out of every five junior high students plays basketball, didn't you know that? It's great to pull off basketball techniques one Why? after the other like Hanumichi. Why do they seem so surprised? I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. それが引退やったなんて。小北にも海南にもほんの紙一重の差やったのに。俺たちは力いっぱいやった。最後まで全力で走った。結果がどうであろうと、俺たちはベストを尽くした。悔いはない。てっきり選抜まで残ってくれるもんやとは思ってました。よその学校やったら三年生でも冬までやってる人が結構おんのに。それはな家庭の事情なんだ。俺には父親との約束がある。十八になったら修行を始める。それが小さい頃からの。父親との約束だったんだ。うちで鍵を継ぐのは俺しかいないからな。修行って何のですか？俺の夢。板前だ。板前？大角さんとこ板前だったんですか？そうか。<笑><笑> I'm sorry, but not these generic faces. <laughs> Next time, what? Shouk is just gonna get better. They have two first years. That's like crazy, crazy good. <laughs> I mean, Sakuragi is only going to get better. Like, the only person that I'd see... Um, I mean, they're still going to have... Um, um, they're still going to have Fuku and Sendo. So, next year. So, that's cool. They're gonna have to get better though. For for sure. I don't see anybody that could like step up with Uzumi leaving. Zungi Kosoa, Omaraga, then Kokono Kipo Tenny let the crap. <笑>残念やったな姉ちゃん。千藤さんまだ来てなくて。なんかちょっと千藤さん、千藤さんってうるさいからな。近いち。そうか。相田さん個人的に。ああ、エジカイチスター。ね、ブレイヤー、ヨ
しかもあれで成長途上だこの先両南バスケ部がどう変わっていくか想像もつかないその肝心の新キャプテンの仙道さんがまだ来てはらへんのですけど大丈夫ですやろかあいつがいるから俺たちは安心して引退できるんだ何も心配はいらんあいつの前に立ちはだかる男がいるとすれば小北のルカはあファスタルカ<笑>まだ1年とはいえ、全国大会でのルカー君のプレーは楽しみですよね。よチェックや。よく見た兄弟。小国か。全国でみっともないプレーをしたら、俺が許さんぞ、赤城。姉、ね、ちゃん、ちゃんと仕事せなあかんで。あんたこそ仙道君を見習って、きちんと練習しなきゃダメよ。分かってるってじゃあウォーズ行く修行頑張ってあ,あ,ありがとうございます何赤くなってんだ<笑>今日は残念でしたねあ,あれいいんですかええ私がジタバタしなくても大丈夫今に必ず全国が仙道くんの名前を知る日が来るわ No doubt about it. I can't! Shock to Yeba, most of the Dijon is to was the daughter. I'm not sure that I'm going to take that. 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 ルカワ君はいないのねいつもはルカワ君が居残りしてるのにあいつ今日少し変だったからなえ小グル先輩何か別のことを考えてるっていうかでも勉強しに帰ったとも思えないしプレッシャーかしら県大会の成績は驚異的だけど全国が舞台となればどうかしらねまだ1年のルカー君がすんなり実力を発揮できるかどうかそんなことないわ大丈夫よきっとそうよあいつはプレッシャーなんて感じるようなまともな神経してないものずぶといを通り越して無神経よねあやこさんそうだあいつは無神経あんたは練習しなさい<笑><笑>うんますますわからない人ねルカー君って。All right, so that was those two episodes, man. I think it was 85 and 86. Great episodes, I have to say. Great episodes, man. Um, as I said, I told you guys, I'm not doing four of these two words, slice of life. So here we are. Listen, these two episodes, I know I talked a lot about it during the you, you know, during the pause or whatever, but it's good to pause now because when the action is going on. Um, I don't really like to pause that much, but if I do have something to say or talk about, I'm going to stop the video and talk about it. So, if pretty sure none of you guys are new to that, um, I'm me doing that. So, two episodes, slice of life episodes, showing what other people's goals, what the you know, our team, Shohoku, what their goals are, and also kind of reminiscing on Sendo. And I had a lot to say about what the The journalist was saying, Ikuichi, or whatever his name is, his big sister has come to find out. I don't know if that was mentioned before that they were related,、um, but she was arguing with the editor. You know what I'm saying? Saying that we should focus on Sendo. And I'm like, yeah, love the dude. He's a great player. Don't get me wrong, performed great during the competition. Um, but at the end of the day, this is a newspaper. People don't want to read about the losers. You get what I'm saying? Like,、um, not necessarily, especially in a situation like that specifically. Like, if I get it, if you're in the NBA and you lose, you lose in the finals, you know, there's going to be a story on it in your local town, in, 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 in the, the hometown of the team. They're going to talk about how you lose. 
you know what I'm saying? And they're going to, whether they're going to be harsh, whether they're going to be soft about it, whether they're going to be disappointed, it's going to be printed. I get that, right? But at the stage at where Sendo is at, at the high school stage, nobody wants to hear about losers. You know what I'm saying? If you want to talk about the local kid, that's good, but they're all already local. You get what I'm trying to say? If you want to talk about Sendo in that light, most newspapers or media is not going to cover the losers. They're going to talk about the winners. You get what I'm saying? Um, the winners get to make history. The winners are the ones that we're going to talk about. So I'm not being biased in saying they should talk about Shoku and not talk about, you know what I'm saying? Not talk about Rionin. You know, um, the fact of the matter is they had one game to win. They lost. Uh, mind you, they lost to our team, Shoku. Um, so in my opinion, she should, as she came up with at the end, figure out a way to integrate him into everything else. You get what I'm saying? Because people want to read about Rukawa. People don't want to read about Sendo. It's just how it is. This is how the media work. And it's nothing against Sendo himself, because as I said, he's a great player. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and I went on to talk about how I feel about certain players in the NBA and their play. I don't think people like John Wall, great players individually. They're awesome players. I don't think players like that are ever going to win a championship because I don't feel like they're at that level. They're not elite. They're great in the NBA, great players in the NBA, but they're not in that upper echelon elite of players for me to be like, they're definitely going to win a championship. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, it, 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 um, and I'm not saying that that is Sendo, but in some ways, when it comes on to Sendo, he might not be able to get there because he's just at, he's at that point right now where, in my opinion, it's against Shoku. You're up against the main characters of the story, if you want to call it that, right? And I don't think he's going to get the chance to get to nationals because I think Shoku is just going to get stronger in my opinion, because you literally got beat by two first years, my guy, you got beat by two first years. Mitsui does, didn't do much in that game. Mitsui didn't do, do much in that game. Um, Miyagi didn't do much in that game. Um, it was Akagi with the veteran knowledge, right? He got a good amount of points, but Rukawa, and Sakuragi is who beat the team. It was a whole team effort, don't get me wrong, without, you know what I'm saying, without Miyagi, without Mitsui, without them on the court, you get what I'm saying, wouldn't be in this position right now, but I believe when you're talking about the MVP of that game, it was Rukawa. It was Sakuragi on defense. You get what I'm saying? I think that Sakuragi had a better performance than Akagi as a defender in the game. Because without all those rebounds, without all those great defensive steals and, and um, blocks in that game by Sakuragi, we would not be in this position right now. Your team got beat by basically, if you want to call it, two rookies. You get what I'm saying? Now, Rukawa is a prodigy. He's a prodigy. I believe, give him a year like Sendo you know, has a year on Rukawa, give Rukawa a year. He's going to be better than, than, than Sendo. He's probably going to be better than Maki as well. Give him a year. You get what I'm saying? They all see it coming. They all see it coming. They see it coming. You get what I'm saying? But you guys might have a different opinion than mine. Of course, leave it in the comment section. Um, but as I said, these two episodes basically size the live shit, you know, shit kind of sharing is, is what I actually expected to happen after such a long basketball game for like 10 episodes. So, um, so I'm definitely looking forward to see what they're going to do next. I don't know what we're going to do now. I don't know if there's going to be like, we're going to get to see the first game. It's only like about 15 episodes left for me to watch. So I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I have no clue what's going to happen next in 15 episodes. What else are you going to do? You know, before, as I said, I don't know if I'm going to jump into the manga immediately, but we'll see how things go. As, as I said, I still need to go back and, you know, it ain't no time soon. 
you know what I mean, before I catch up with Ippo or Berserk. As a matter of fact, we, we don't even know what's going to happen with Berserk anyways. You know, even though I'm not close to, to catch up in that series, but knowing that the mangaka has died, you know, just recently, I think it was last week, he died. They don't even know if they're going to get an ending to Berserk at this point, but I'm pretty sure some news about that is going to come out. Um, you know, if somebody is going to carry on the torch and try to finish the manga and finish it up or whatever the situation is, um, we, you know, it, it's a situation, it's a situation. But in any case, when it comes on to slam dunk and going into the manga, we'll see. I will announce when I decide that I'm going to continue with the manga. Um, but. I don't think it's going to be immediately after I finish watching the anime. I don't think it's going to be that soon. You get what I'm saying? I might give it some months and then I'll jump into it as soon as I can get back into a rhythm with everything that I'm doing and then I'll do that. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment. And if you watched it on, if you watch this video, on youtube let me know and let me know how it goes because as i said if i'm gonna be trying to put up a cut up version of this video it's slice of life episodes so if you guys see it if you guys like it, it you know what i'm saying it might not be super visible because you know we gotta do things to the video to make it be uploadable to youtube or acceptable to youtube i will see how things go in any case guys thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all and I will catch you guys later, man. Peace!